Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingwebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add objects to images in Photoshop. For example, here I have this image of this model and here I have this image of these sunglasses and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these sunglasses and place them on the model's face. So to start I will need to remove the background of these glasses. Since I have a white background with a black pair of glasses it's actually very easy to remove the background with the magic wand tool. If you have a more complex image, I actually have a video that shows you how to remove backgrounds using different techniques. So we will first need to unlock the layer since it's locked, so I will simply double click it to unlock it. And now I will select the background and I'll go to edit and clear. And now I'll right click and left click on deselect. And now I'll simply click on the rectangular marquee tool here. And I'll simply select the glasses and I'll go to edit and copy and I'll go to my image with the model and I'll go to edit and paste and now what I'll do is I'll go to edit transform and flip horizontal and now what I'll do is I'll scale down by going to edit transform and scale and I'm going to hold down the shift key while I scale down so that the glasses don't lose their shape and form And now when I'm happy with the size, I'll simply double click for the changes to take effect. And now I'll go to edit, transform, and rotate. And I'll simply rotate the glasses to the desired position. And I'll slightly zoom in so that I can see what I'm doing a bit better. And now what I'll do is I'll actually erase these parts of the glasses right here. So I'll double click for the changes to take effect first. And now I'll simply erase. Before I erase this part I'm actually going to zoom out so that I can see how the glasses look on her face. and I will just slightly move them and now what I'll do is I'll zoom back in and I'm actually going to erase a bit by her nose here so that they actually look like they're on her face like so and now I'll simply erase by the hair here what I'll do is I'll actually change the opacity of the layer of the glasses by selecting the layer and lowering the opacity a bit so that I can see how much I have to erase. Like so. And now I'll simply raise the opacity back up to 100%. And now I'll simply erase the rest of the glasses here. And now what I'll do is I'll paint a bit right here so that you can't see this part of the glasses. So I'll simply choose the color and I'll choose my brush here. So what I'll do is I'll choose Mixer Brush Tool. I'm going to move into full screen with menu bar so that you can see things a bit better. like so
And now what I'll do is I'll duplicate this layer by simply right clicking on it and left clicking on duplicate layer because I want to use it later for something else. And now I'll simply go to my eraser tool here and what I'll do is I'll lower the opacity to 10%. So first I'll hide this layer so that I can see what I'm erasing. And I'll make sure that my layer with the glasses is selected here. And what I'll do is I'll simply erase a bit so that we can see her eyes. Through the glasses. Like so. And now I'll simply repeat the same steps for the other side. And now when we zoom out, we can see our model with the glasses on her face. So now what I'll do is I'll hide this layer and I'll move it and I'll show you the other thing that I wanted to show you. So I'll show this layer right here and now what I'll do is I'll make sure that the layer is selected and I'll go to select and I'll left click on color range and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to change the color of these lenses so right here I will make sure that I have my eyedropper with the plus sign selected and I will simply choose the fuzziness so that it's at a good level for example the lower the level the easier it is for Photoshop to distinguish the difference between colors so for example since I only want to pick up the purple in these lenses I'm actually going to have the fuzziness pretty low and what I'll do is I'll make sure that the eyedropper is on plus here and I'll hold down the shift key and I'll simply drag along the lenses here so that Photoshop picks up the color and as you can see here you can tell what you're picking up as you can see I went in a little too far there also make sure that when you select that you do not have invert selected and now I'll simply click on OK so now simply hold down the option key on your keyboard if you're on a Mac or the alt key if you're on a Windows and simply go to where it says create new fill or adjustment layer and simply click on hue saturation and now I will just type in sunglasses here and I'll click OK and what I'll do is I'll tick off colorize here and I'll simply select a color that I want like so and now I'll zoom back in and what I'll do is I'll actually hide the layer with the woman and I'll also hide the layer of my other glasses and I'll simply go to layer and merge visible and now I'll show the picture with the model once more and I'll simply match this color here and with my mixer brush selected I will simply paint over this like so and now I'll go back to my eraser here and I'll make sure again that opacity is at 10% and I will simply erase like so
And now we have a model with a pair of yellow sunglasses on her face. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.